Hi, it's Terry. I have been maintaining 180 pound weight loss with low carb, low calorie, meat focused eating since August of 2022. Y'all, it's so cold. Oh my goodness. I was not built for winter. Let me rephrase that. I used to be built for winter and loved it. I don't like winter anymore. I want to go back to summer. I would rather complain about the heat than complain about this. Oh my Lord, oh my Lord. Okay, anyway. All right. It's rough out there. So let's talk about my bag salads that I made last week. <clears throat> they worked well and I, I, I pulled them out and actually, they were very, very, um, there was a lot of condensation inside of them. So some of the, um, some of the, the stuff is starting to turn brown. So I went ahead and put them all in this container. Um, well, in the other containers. So we're going to see how they work. Um, but anyway, so future Terry, do not make uh, salads in Ziploc bags. Is not a good thing because you're yeah it just didn't work anyway so but that's all right live and learn man we live and learn all right so hey if you're count counting calories how come my lights gone dim I feel like I've had a stroke or something I wonder my battery's going hey what's this little button do is that a button oh that's a little pull out thing I wonder, wonder what that's for. That's what I get for not reading instructions, huh? But I bet you, I bet you the batteries are going bad. Let me go get three AAA batteries, batteries and see if that helps. I, I use this poor thing every day. I'll be right back. And my eyes are getting bad. Or something, let's see. Oh, yeah. Now, future Terry. You're not going blind. <laughs> you just need to change the batteries. So, all right, let's get back to it. So, if you are counting calories and macros, just build your food on your scale. It saves you so much time. Have your phone, your tracker app right here, right beside you. And then just put your stuff on the scale and say, okay, I'm adding... Um, 44 grams of jicama. Then you put that in your tracker app. Now your salad, the base part, you already know because you've already plugged it in. And so you just carry the main part of it over from the yesterday. Actually, what I used to do was carry it all over and then I would just adjust the macros. So anyway, so okay, 40. Hey, it's 43 grams. So zero it out. And then you say, all right, I'm going to add my salad dressing. Because we know I love salad dressing on my taco salads. I want it to be 60. All right, 65, close enough. So you're going to plug that in your track crap. You might say, I think I want a little more onions to make this more oniony. So there you go. You say, aw, poop. Whatever that other number was, 109 minus whatever no, that other number was. Because I know that wasn't 100 grams of onions. Although it might have been, but I don't think I hit it. But anyway, and then you truck in, you say, I want some tomatoes. And you say, 61 grams of tomatoes. And then you're going to grip your, actually first we're going to get some seasoning. We've got some fajita seasoning. I picked up over the weekend at Walmart. Whoa. Alrighty, and then we're going to add some Southwest Ranch seasoning. And then you say, yeah, but there ain't never enough salt in that. So you say, well, let's give me some salt. And then you say, and we know there ain't enough ranch in this world, so let's add some more ranch. And then you say, ta-da. Then you say, all right, we need to add some salsa. But we all know I add too much sauce every time. So, zero it out. Get this little booger stirred up. How much am I adding? Uh, 
60 grams is what I want to add. All right, 73. I'm good with that. All right. So now we've got our top, we've got the salad part done. Where'd my lid go? Right here. And you say, okay, there you go. Good job, Terry. Now we've got our ground beef. Yeah, I was trying to decide, do I want to put it in a bowl or do I want to just leave it in here for tomorrow? And we don't really have anything to heat up with at work. I mean, I could put it on a paper plate, but then the juices will go all over the place and it'll be a hot mess. And I didn't know nobody's got time for a hot mess. Come on now. So now we repeat what we did. We put on our fajita seasoning. We put on our Southwest Ranch seasoning. We add some ranch flavor god ranch seasoning. And then we add some salt. Ooh, and we add some garlic lovers. Garlic lover. Oh, that's a little too much, but that's all right. It's all right. We ain't going to die. It'll blend in with the flavors tomorrow. All right, so this is our lunch tomorrow. The other thing we're taking is breakfast. So let me put this stuff away, and we'll shift over to our breakfast. Okay, so we've got our burger and cheese, and that's for breakfast. Along with that, I purchased the steel-cut oats. Now, these are different than the, um, than the other oats. The other oats, um, it was a bigger serving. But I guess since these are so tiny, they pack more punch. So I need 22 grams because I'm still going to do half of a serving. I probably should take away one the half burger, but I'm not doing it tomorrow. So 22 servings or 22 grams because this may be disgusting. And I may not eat it. Who knows? You know, I thought maybe I would try this thing again, but I think that's the wrong decision. So before I ruin it with the liquid, I'm going to go on and put it in the other container. Um, so we know that's 22 grams. Um, so let's see. How do they do it usually? Um... One serving is a half cup, fourth cup of oats with three-fourths cup of water. So there's more liquid than oats. One-fourth is three-fourths. Y'all, uh-uh. So if I do, what, what's, hey, Ziggy, what's half of three-fourths? Half of three-fourths is 0.375. 0.375. Well, I don't know what the heck that means. Well, anyway, I did it one-to-one -one with the other thing, and I'm going to try it with half and half. We're going to try this. Just just bear with me. Sometimes I just got to try stuff. <clears throat> I just wanted to try it. I saw a video the other day, and uh, I want to show you something before I do this. Hold on. I'll show you. Okay. I don't remember whose video it was, but it was on YouTube. And the in ingredients on heavy cream. There's heavy cream milk. There is carrageenan mono and diglycerides and polysorbide 80. Okay, so there's some ingredients. Half and half, like I said, I saw this the other day. Ingredients is milk and cream. That's it. That's all that's in it. So I was like, man. That's even cleaner than heavy cream. So, all right. So, I'm going to see. So, that's approximately two tablespoons. So, for this, two tablespoons is 30 grams. Or 30 ml. So, I'm going to try to do 45 ml. So, that would be like three tablespoons. So, we're going to try it and see what happens. Okay. Remember how I lied? Oh, wait, wait. Well, anyway, we got 50 grams in there. So we're going to try it, and um, we'll see. I may need more than that. I have no idea. I'll try it, and I'll see how it looks. I could add water to it when I get to work. And uh, 
<clears throat> I am just going to kind of, that's how it looks. It's real grainy. It's kind of like grits. So it's real grainy. So anyway, I'm going to put that together here and uh, turn you off. Let's get this in here. I assume I'm going to work tomorrow. My work typically doesn't close too easily. And I think it did close twice last year. But I will have my everything. Oh my goodness, I got the burp. I will have everything together and ready just in case. Like I said, I brought my laptop home Friday just on to be on the safe side. So, um, all right, we got this in a Ziploc bag so there shouldn't be any spillage. I'll put it right up. Well, I'll put it right down there beside the other. No, let me put this right on top. So, now I'm going to set this in my refrigerator, and I'll see you in the morning. Okay, bye. By the way, I was at kids' church today. They're so stinking cute. One little boy, he come up to me, and he said, I'm scared. Will you sit by me? I said, no. Of course I will. I'll be your best friend for the rest of your life. Of course I will. So he took my hand and I sat by him. Oh, he just melted my little heart. And then we, then whenever they had, then they called them all up to, to the front. He just ran off and left me. I'm like, oh, that must be how you parents feel whenever your kids just run off and leave you. And then um, another little boy, we, we, we took our group, which is the kindergarten through third grade. And we had to go over into the big kids class for a little bit. So that is the fourth grade through sixth grade. So we went over there and some little boy, he was kind of, this family was running a little late. So he come in late and I, then the lady said, go ahead and show him. So I walked him up and he said, sit by me. I said, okay, you'll be my friend for life. Forget that other stinking kid. <laughs> anyway, so I sat by him and, and uh, we listened to the message and, and uh, then we ran back, then we went back to our main room. And then he ran off and left me again, too. I'm like, what the heck, man? Stinking kids, they're so fickle. <laughs> anyway, but it was fun. It was a good day today. I had fun in the kids' church. But, uh, yeah, two little boys were like, come sit by me. And then they ran off and left me. I'm like, typical men. <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding. My poor choices, I'm projecting. Okay, anyway, I'll see you. Tomorrow morning, we'll either be eating here or be eating at work. We'll see what happens. Bye. Sammy and I were in the other room playing with the orange bowl, and I kept hearing a squeaking and a squeaking, and I knew it wasn't Sammy. It was Lou. Lou, because the other two were in there. Lou destroyed this tennis ball. Sammy, you better guard that one with your life. I'm just going to take this, and I'm going to set it in the basket. It's okay. I don't want this to end up like that one. I, I put it in the toy basket. Let's put it over here. It'll be safe. It'll be safe in there, Sam. Just, just leave it in there. It's okay. It's okay. We don't want Brother to chew that one up. That Luber do. He is a hot mess. Oh, well. That's all right. I'm just so happy he's learned a dog. Whenever he first come here, he couldn't even, he just wanted to just, he was afraid to do anything. I'd, I'd rather buy him a new ball every week for him to destroy than for him to go back to the, the way he was. He was so afraid when I got him. Good morning. We have our burger and a half. I hadn't got out a thing yet. I went ahead and microwaved the cheese, the burgers. He's cold. So I needed something warm. So, let's see. I'm going to put a little salt on the burger here. All right. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put a little. So I ended up having to microwave my my steel cut oats. And they're, <laughs> they are very dehydrated. So um, this it's just like a chunky which is fine um you know me i'll eat them but at least i'll know so next time i think next time i'll do with the the crock pot method you know i said i, I told y'all i gotta do my method first and see what it's like but um i didn't there probably wasn't enough liquid in it but it's all right it's still good they are grainy um it's almost like 
like a, mm -hmm. like a, almost like a rice texture. Um, okay, and then my one and a half burger. And my cheese. Mm -hmm. And there we go. That's my breakfast today. See you at lunchtime. Grits. That's the texture. So, growing up, whenever we'd go out to eat, and um, we'd go somewhere like Cracker Barrel, and they'd have grits, my mama would always put, um, she'd always put a little bit of butter and a little bit of heavy cream, just plain heavy cream, in her grits. And so, that's actually the texture and taste of this. Only a little bit thicker. But um, that's what this reminds me of. So, it really is a, like grits. And I love grits. So, it does put me in the mindset of grit. So, okay, bye. Hello. If you watched me for very long, you knew I forgot two things for my lunchbox. I forgot the apple and a spoon. Well, a spoon, I keep extra here. Extras here, so we're good with that. Um, the apple, well, I'm just going to have to live without it. But I will tell you, in the past, I have, I've already microwaved this. In the past, I have literally gone home to get the apple because... I am so obsessive, and I need things to be the same. So, anyway, so we're going to see We're gonna see if I can make it without the apple today. Or if I have to get out in this cold snow and drive home to get it. We'll see. Anyway, so I heated up my meat. I'm adding it to the salad. I'll stir this up, and I'll show you. Okay, here we go. There we have our taco salad. Our southwestern bowl, whatever you want to call it. <clears throat> I did check my blood sugar again this morning after <clears throat> one and a half hours after I ate my the oats and the and the burger and the cheese and it was 90 so I'm pretty excited so, uh, things are going fine. So, it helps my mind, you know, be okay with the decision I'm making, you know. So, anyway, so at least I've got that reassurance that I'm not doing anything traumatic, you know what I mean? So, mm hmm. I'm going to eat that, and I'll see you at the supper. If I freak out too much and go home to get an apple, I'll let you know. Looky, looky. We still got snow. Ain't it pretty full? <laughs> I had to go on Amazon and order one of those things for under this door. Man, the draft that comes in is real serious. The people who had this house, there's like plastic in the inside. So no draft comes through here. But that's the finished attic. So that's why it's a, there's a draft that comes through and I feel it sitting right here in my recliner. Let's look out front. You know, I'm in Podunk, Missouri. Well, I'm in Southeast Missouri. For us, snow is not as common as it is for you people up north because our temperatures don't usually get low enough. But look out there. Ain't that pretty? All right, well, let's get our supper. Okay, we got our food here. So let's try our... Uh, Butternut squash. I think this is actually a mixture of butternut squash and acorn squash. Some's lighter and some's darker. Mm-hmm. I think that video came out today. Yesterday? I don't know. Anyway, it's good. I really keep saying, and I really want to do it, one of these times I want to go to Walmart I'm finding a vegetable that I don't recognize, that I don't know anything about, I've never used, and try to make something with it. So maybe like, um, you know, they have all kinds of weird cabbages and stuff. I'd like to try that. Oh, this is the pork and, or pork. It's like the, the Polish sausage and the onions, peppers, and cabbage. Maybe we got my apple. Um, 
You know, I always talk about my Leslie, my buddy. She had a grape. She had grapes and blackberries, so I had one of each. I'm like, all right, this helps. I told you she's <clears throat> she's doing plant based, and um, and so you know it's kind of it's fascinating to me because when I went keto, and you all see, I tried to do things that are similar to how I ate, you know, in the previous life, like this weekend with my faux ham and beans and and stuff. <clears throat> Those videos will be out later. I'm still working on them. Anyway, um, but it's something that she's going through um, in her eating. And so she's using chickpeas. And so she made some um, faux meatballs, some chickpea, chickpea balls. And um, so I find it really fascinating because, you know, here we're over here trying to make our stuff be low carb and similar to the things we ate. And she's over here trying to make things taste similar to the other things she used to eat. So it's really interesting, but I've, I've asked, she's let me taste some of her stuff. And she had some roasted chickpeas to, and today, and I tried that, and those were good. I get toasted, whatever. Kind of reminds me of um, pumpkin seeds. Um, and then she had some, instead of meatballs, chickpea balls. And um, so I had a bite of one of those. So it's just, you know, there's so many different ways that we can eat. And it's not one way for everybody. You know what I mean? My way is working for me. And I know some of you all are doing something a little bit different for me, but it's working for you. And, you know, I think it's so cool that there's so many different ways out there that we can all eat. And it works for each of us. So, all right, let me get off my sermon. Um, so, <clears throat> I'm testing this out. Um, I've got a... Um, on, I'll show you. I know, I know I'm dragging this out. Shut up. Anyway, uh, I got a timer because I'm going to try tonight, which you'll see it in my next video, these steel cut oats. We're going to do them in the crock pot and, um, and I'm going to try them in the, in the crock pot. And um, so I got a timer. I'm testing to see because, you know, you have to pull, you have to pull them out and push them in on the timer so it knows when to kick on. So anyway, so tonight we're going to be doing that. But you'll see that in the next video. So, all right, well, I'm going to go eat and warm up because it's colder than Cooter Brown out there. All right. I love y'all. Bye.